What's up guys? Today I kind of want to talk about something interesting that a lot of people don't have to think about at all when they're picking a major in college or going into a certain career, etc. And that is how dangerous it is. And so I kind of want to talk a bit about how dangerous being a chemist or chem major actually is. This is from personal experience, reading things, talking to professors because they have a lot of fun stories about actually being a chemist for decades and all. And so with that, let's hop right into it. So your first year as a chem major in your gen chem classes is basically not going to be dangerous at all. You might be working with some like hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, etc. But for the most part, everything you're doing in lab is extremely safe as long as you're just like not eating random things you find in lab. You're not going to do anything particularly dangerous. When you move on to organic chemistry, it does get a bit more dangerous, but again, there's a reason there's these safety protocols in place, and you're not going to be doing particularly difficult reactions in lab, and you're going to have like TAs and professors there watching everything you're doing, and you're just following your own procedure. And those are kind of the big lab classes you take. There's also PCHEM lab later on, but in general, the labs you take in your courses aren't particularly dangerous. You will be working with some dangerous stuff, but as long as you're following safety protocols and all the sort of stuff they tell you and you listen to what your professors and TAs say, you're not going to really be in harm's way. Being a base chem major is not dangerous. That being said, if you are doing research in a lab under a professor, um, it can get a bit more dangerous. You might be working with more exotic or dangerous chemicals. I know I am. And you're not going to be having this procedure laid out for you. It's your job to go look at the material safety data sheets for whatever you're using. It's your job to make your own procedures and follow those guidelines. So you don't have this step-by-step -step laid out of what to do if something happens or what to do during your procedure. And that can be a bit more dangerous, but again, there's so many safety stuff implemented in chemistry labs, from eye wash stations to showers to always wearing goggles and chemical resistant lab coats. All of that there is there for a reason. There's a reason you have to watch those hour long safety videos every time you're in a lab class where they basically tell you common sense. And it does seem stupid at first, but a lot of that stuff is written in blood, and so you kind of want to follow it. Now, moving on is where being a chemist can get a bit more dangerous. There is stuff you do in grad school and PhD programs which can be legitimately dangerous. I'm sure many of you have heard about, this was a few years ago, a, a student, a grad student at UCLA, I think, passed away because of terp-butyl lithium, which is a chemical that is pyrophoric, which means it catches on fire when it touches air. And stuff like that still happens. When you're working with really dangerous chemicals, there, there's stuff that can go wrong. In that case, there was a syringe that kind of came out of the end of the housing for it and it just sprayed the chemical everywhere. That being said, I'm not going to lie, being a chemist can be a bit dangerous. You will just be working with dangerous chemicals, and that's sort of where I want to talk about some of the stuff I've talked with professors with, especially uh, organic synthetic chemists seem to work with a lot of dangerous chemicals. I remember when I took organic chemistry, I talked a lot with the professor there because he had worked in industry for synthetic organic chemistry for years, so he had countless stories. And there is tons of chemicals where you get exposed to it once, and if you ever get exposed to it again, you have an allergic reaction. There's tons of poisonous chemicals, stuff you don't want in contact with your skin, um, just dangerous reactions due to fire, heat, etc. And if you're going into like straight chemist fields where you're going to be working in like a synthetic lab all day, it can just get dangerous. In fact, this professor told me one of the reasons he stopped working uh, that job as a synthetic chemist in industry was he, he was scared. He got too dangerous too many times. He wanted to retire with all his fingers. Um, and of course, 
not every chemistry field is going to be like this. Not every chemistry field and not every research area is going to be that dangerous. There are some research areas where you're basically not going to be put into any danger at all, even within certain fields. So it's very lab specific. Some labs just by the nature of their research work with more dangerous materials and some labs don't. But that being said, I don't want to put you guys off because of the danger because Truly, for 99% of chemists, you follow your safety guidelines and nothing will ever happen to you. I've been in research for a few years now. I'm um, a senior in my undergrad and I've never had an incident like that happen to me. I've seen some close calls happen to people, but usually it's because they're not following their own protocols. I saw a guy put his head underneath the fume hood once. Um, Somebody accidentally poured flammable material on a heating hot plate, etc. But if you just use common sense, you're careful, you follow your safety protocols, being a chemistry major isn't very dangerous. And even going out into industry and in the real world, you do the same stuff. 99% of fields, you're not going to be in any particular danger. If chemistry was that dangerous, you would probably see far less people going into it. Again. There's so many safety protocols this day and age that we're not doing things like mouth pipetting and all anymore and stuff is just way safer. You shouldn't be worried. You should not let safety be a concern for becoming a chemistry major because although there are a bunch of crazy dangerous stories you hear about in the chem lab and they can happen and there's crazy dangerous chemicals, usually the protocols for handling them and the stuff you do with them puts you in a pretty safe position. So I hope that gives some insight on like how actually dangerous being a chemist or chemistry major is. And with that, in the comments, why don't you guys actually let me know what the most dangerous thing that's happened in your labs uh, has been. I would love to hear it. And leave a like on the video. I'll see you guys next time.